Our final team of the night was the epitome of the mountains when we think of domination. Since 1995, the Breathitt County Bobcats have been one of the most feared football powerhouses from the mountains. And for the third time in seven years, the state saw the result of what can happen when offense and defense work out as one unit. 1995 and 1996 was certainly a special time in Breathitt County as undefeated and back-to-back -back state titles rejuvenated the area and put Bobcat football on the map. But from 1997 through 2001, only upset losses and near misses accounted for Breathitt County football. That was until this year. Fireworks and excitement was back in Jackson, and the Cats never disappointed the fans as Breathitt exploded offensively and flat out shut down opponents defensively. But at the beginning of the year, the offense was grabbing the accolades. Great when you catch passes and run a backyard offense, basically, like you did when you were a kid. It's just great. We do this in practice every day. We just knew we had to come out and execute every day, every Friday night. With Justin Haddix at the controls of a PlayStation 2 type offense, Breathitt County stormed out of the gate by pounding Fleming County, North Harden, and Knott Central by an average of 55 points a game. In an effort that would have made Chuck Connors proud, the Riverbank Rifleman threw footballs all over the place to different receivers every night, which made everybody happy. When you're going to catch it over the middle, you better be ready for uh, a rocket <laughs> because he'll put it in there on you. And uh, I've had a few targets put on my chest. <laughs> But for some reason, it would not be until the Madison Southern game in week number nine that Central Kentucky thought that the Cats could really play. Defensive coordinator John Chapman's gang of run stoppers put Kentucky's leading rusher, Malachi Maxwell, face first in the ground on their way to a 53 to nothing romp. Two weeks later, Breathitt County entered postseason play sporting a perfect 10-0 record and the number one ranking in Kentucky. After an easy 61-0 win over Pike Central in round one, the 2001 state runner-up in Prestonsburg came to the Riverbank, and they had their chances to strike early, but the defense snuffed them out as Justin Haddix proved he could do more than just throw. He could run, scoring five touchdowns and a 42-24 win. Then came the regional finals in the mud of Belfry's Death Valley. Breathitt somehow came out as clean as they did when they entered the ball game, winning 21 to nothing and grabbing some trophies along the way. The night was November 29th. It was certainly one for the ages, and if you were there, you saw a comeback that will forever be etched in the minds of those in Mike Holcomb Stadium that night. For once, Breathitt County looked human. With a total of seven turnovers and more than 100 yards in penalties, the Cats found themselves trailing Russell 21 to six going into the fourth quarter when it happened. The Bobcats caught fire and somehow miraculously tied the game to put it into overtime. In OT, Russell scored first, but a costly missed extra point would prove deadly. When Justin Haddock scored on breath at second play, the house was and the pressure was on the right foot of David Little, who propelled the Cats into Louisville. I was just taking up the team, wanting to get it to Louisville again. I just got up there and kicked it. Going to Louisville. And we're going to Louisville again. Hey, that's like home dust. We're excited to be back down there, man. Oh, we, we had the worst first half we could have played in our lives. We was just down one point. I mean, we knew we had it in us. We just come back, we didn't quit. We stayed patient. When we come back, they can't stop us. We're going to Louisville, baby. <laughs> One week later, Breathitt County found themselves facing Mountain counterpart Corbin. But in many ways, the Class 2A state championship was over before it started. As Breathitt County raced away with yet another Class 2A state championship, their third in seven years, beating Corbin soundly 51 to nothing. And another congratulations definitely goes out to Breathitt County. A wonderful ride for them as they capture yet another state championship for Class 2A. When we return, we will wrap up the show with a special video when we come back. Thank you for watching this WIMT Sports presentation of a championship season and a very appreciative thank you needs to go out to Rockcastle County, Corbin and Breathitt County for making this past 2002 season certainly one that years from now fans will look back on as something special. As we leave you tonight, here's a look back at some of the images from championship weekend at Louisville's Cardinal Stadium. 
Good night, everyone.